Take a look at this, Sam. Tell us what we're seeing here. Well, what we've got looking at here, Will, is the front end of the Red Bull. Mm -hmm. Now, normally we'd call this the bulkhead of the car. When you take the nose off, you can see all the bits and pieces. But what we're seeing is that Red Bull's done something strange down here. And if you look at that lower wishbone mounting point, that long straight line, there's something missing. So it's picking up on these outboard points, as you expect, with these flexion mountains. So it's not a solid beam that goes through the front. But there's no steering rack. Where is it? It's moved rearward, and you can see the steering arm has moved way back in towards the driver's feet. Oh, so wow. they've made the monocoque longer, and they're running two separate bulkheads, essentially. It's a bit more sort of detailed and curvy than your drawings managed here earlier on. And, it, and so what they've done is they've taken away all these brake master cylinders, all these other bits, and the suspension, thanks for writing this in, Will, has been mounted in this sort of volume between the two. And I've only seen one not particularly clear photo of that, and we haven't got that here at the moment. But as you can see, the suspension mounting points are exactly where you'd expect those upper, wish, uh, upper points. But down the bottom, and you've put the arrow in the wrong way, there's another point of interest, this big fin underneath the monocoque. And that's something new. We haven't seen that before. We've previously seen these big, long, swoopy ears. Love the fact you're blaming me for all yeah, of those. I have, yeah. That fin has been a real talking point. It's fascinating. They've got that, that this, double bucket. This, this, it's incredible. This is, this is actually groundbreaking stuff on the Red Bull. No one's ever done this before, so it's going to be really interesting to see. So what's the, the, the thinking behind it? Well, it looks really heavy to me. But So the only reason I can think is it increases stiffness or gives them some sort of aero game, but I haven't had a chance to really interrogate them, and they've been very cagey about letting people look at it. And moving the steering column back, what is it? You, you, you've got a shorter steering column, or is it at a different angle? Yeah, it's changed the angles, and it, the, the, the steering rack itself, or the, you know, the, 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 sort of the long bit where you've got all yep. the gubbins and the power, power assistance in, is exactly the same size, but the arms themselves are a little bit shorter and the angles have changed so it could give the handling implication but I, I, I'd like to see more about it when it's empty.